What's up, gang? How are y'all? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of. Do you know what we're doing? Yeah, but I know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> For some funny. reason, it came out really slow. Like, I thought you were like having yeah, no, a moment. I That's was, how it's like. And then, like, yeah, let's keep going. Welcome Anyways. back to another episode of Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk, gang. <laughs> Highly requested. Um, I think you guys had commented in the comments of the last video yes. everybody was like y'all little pillow talk so guess what we got another pillow talk we mm -hmm. have some topics on my ipad i asked you guys on twitter and on instagram twice twice and you guys you gave us some gave a lot of great 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 topics of discussion we narrowed it down though it's narrowed down to a few because yeah, we don't want the video to be too long, but it's we... It's gonna be long if we do every thing. one of them. That Even that is kind of long. We don't have to. We can just pick. Okay. Um, but yeah, guys, we're gonna try to keep it real brief. and Just just something... It might be a part one. Fun. Yeah, something to watch fun. while you're cleaning up in the gym. Mm -hmm. Just listen. It's kind of like, look at this kinda face. Kind of like an audio book. Y'all see how so, so beautiful. He's so beautiful. All right, so without further ado... Oh, if that's how you say it. Let's let's roll. So, all right, let's start off hot. Okay. All right. So, someone asked, "How do we feel about getting each other's names tatted? Is it corny?" Me personally, I'm not a fan of that. I don't want to say it's corny or not, but I don't know. Maybe it's a little ghetto. <laughs> I don't it's know. It's a little ghetto. No, it is. I it, do. it depends on the font, for real, for me. Yeah. If it's real hood rich, like, then... That's the thing. You know. I don't, I can't even explain it. Yeah, I don't know. I think what I what I rather do, I think I like the idea of, like, having something, like, personal or something that, like, symbolizes something else or a moment, like, and y'all share, like, that. Or if y'all have, like, a... Um, missing puzzle pieces you know something like that now that is corny <laughs> <laughs> my little brother had that please it's <laughs> i'm sorry and i think you got to cover that but <laughs> it's, it's corny. but i would do i would do something like an initial or something i wouldn't go all out to but we actually, do have snakes actually this i don't know because i don't know I wouldn't say I say if you if you like that then that's I personally Go don't think it. I would do a name. I would do an initial or something like that. Yeah, I know we have to have something to drink, guys. So we're drinking um ten ball. I think either way millions. if I'm sorry, sorry. I think either way <laughs> either way, if something happens, you end up having to get it covered anyway. Yeah. Or you could but with like an initial or something, you don't have to get it covered up because they don't know what it stands for, but you know what it stands for. But even if you yeah. get it covered up, you still know it was there before. So it really doesn't even matter. Huh? Nothing. You, was, you had a segment early on. That was, that was uh, well, we was jumping into it. You said, yeah. let's make it hot. So. But yeah, that's my take on it. You can pick one. Okay. And then you can dance. Cool. Uh, this is good. Have we had that one before? We haven't had these in a long time, actually. Y'all got a haircut, no enhancements. Like, are you feeling me here? I feel naked. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. We'll go with what's a good day idea when both of you are on a budget in a homophobic country. That's a lot. It's a lot. Let's, That's why I chose. Let's it. break that into two parts. <laughs> okay, so the first part is a good a good day idea when both of you are on a budget. Let's start there. You and we'll deal with the homophobic um, part later. You can go first. Um, I would say like a good day idea. It really don't have to be nothing like crazy because you can always do something in the house. Like we have in the house dates and stuff. It just kind of depends on what you find fun or what you find enjoyable with each other that's not like 
expensive. So like, I like to paint sometimes. So we'll do like little. What's going on? You just tapping this can and this small screen. <laughs> Just we'll do like some painting nights or you know like movie nights or we'll just kind of like chill and play the game maybe have a little cocktail or something but you know yeah. it kind of just depends on what y'all like to do for fun so like it's a lot of little in the house activities you can do but as far as like the home and fun part like i mean that part i i cannot help with because you can't really go out and do well, things, right? let me say this. I feel like every country, I don't think there's a country that's 100% like not homophobic. Like even in America, as liberating as it is, I feel like we still, not us personally, but there, there are victims of like gay hate crimes and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I feel like you can 100% like deviate from that. I think, but if you want to, or if you're just a little bit more like scared of that judgment or whatever, I say just do it whatever you're gonna do in moderation keep and stuff key. like that and keep it chill and like you said low key but hopefully I don't feel like you should have to keep it low key but if that's where we're at then mm -hmm. you know play your cards right keep it pee mm -hmm. all right so my next one would be when we have a disagreement how do we handle the situation so 100% transparency so what we are learning is we're trying to figure out the best method of like we don't have an issue with like addressing problems or anything like that our issue had been like resolving it 100% because you know sometimes in relationships we like to halfway solve the problem like we both say whatever we say and then we take key pieces away but there's not an action behind it and I think what we're trying to move for, towards now is kind of like ensure that there's like a very good solid solution so that we don't revisit uh, a disagreement or whatever. And like I tell people all the time, like we don't really have like arguments and fights. We just have, we have different viewpoints and sometimes that can lead into like a disagreement, which is totally normal. So we're just working on like figuring out the best way to be efficient and handle things but I will say that like, we have great conversations when there are disagreements like it's not like there's never arguing never yelling and mm -mm. it's very much so if, it's if, like, if anything D'Angelo you need to listen you're not that's listening not true. that is not true he would say you keep cutting me off because he will cut me off and, <laughs> I just and be I, excited I don't really hate that. <laughs> I'd be so like, excited. Because I won't even finish. I'll get three words out and he'll say but and I'll be like, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> but like it's it's like Yeah. Yes, there's gonna be like frustration. There's I'm sorry, be, yeah, I was hot. I need to turn it. <laughs> I turned it down, yeah, it was cold earlier. Um like there's gonna be frustration, there's gonna be like feelings of you may be angry and upset or whatever, but we're like working through that part so that we're not really more so angry like you can be frustrated or whatever but like during the conversation it's not it doesn't really need to be any anger towards each other it should just be more like a like a regular conversation you explain why you're upset whatever the other person receives it and you go about like you said the solution to the problem yeah so in a nutshell but it took a while Okay, I'm gonna ask wow. this question on camera for you. That's messy. And please, this is family. But I think you kind of spoke about this in like briefly in a long old video. So I know like early on in a relationship, you had an issue with like actually stating things on your mind or on your chest. Like as soon as that happened, you would like kind of wait and punter around. Mm -hmm. So like, what made you get to a place of comfort where you feel like? If someone is something happened that you don't like or something that you feel like you need to discuss, like what gave you that space to for you to just be like that now as opposed to like when we first got into it? Into the relationship. <laughs> um I don't know. I think just kinda growth and understanding my emotions more as I get older. 
because I wasn't able, still not all the time, to like regulate my emotions. It's kind of always been a struggle for me. But as I get older, yeah, I get more comfortable with speaking how I feel. Sometimes more than I need to. But <laughs> <laughs> it's like once you go from not saying anything forever, I say everything. You yeah, you like just start saying whatever, like whatever you feel, you feel like it needs to be known because now you you're in a space where you feel comfortable to do that. And I won't say I did it all on my own because like you helped me with it, with being like, okay, with Sorry. being, with being like patient with our conversations or like my mood swing era type thing. But. Yeah, that mood swing era. Ooh. You know, um, Ooh, that first year I worked on it, and well, I ain't gonna say first full year. That m- first couple months, child, I would just be quiet. I wouldn't. I would just go sit down and be quiet. Yeah, he would like get mad and sit on the couch. Like, boy, we stay in a one bedroom apartment. Like, what is that? <laughs> you sit in the room. I'm gonna go sit on the couch. Or if he in the living room, I'll go in the bedroom. I was like, what sit. in the world? And y'all, I'm annoying. Like. If I know how to make him mad, I'll get up in his face. I don't care. Like, you gonna talk to me. We're kind of moving through these. Yeah. It's like, we're at 11 minutes and yeah. we've done three. Let's keep it going. Okay. That was... <laughs> um, <laughs> it's Real two I wanna... Good. I don't know which one I wanna do. Do one now, do the other one next. When it's it's, I don't know if it's gonna be time. Okay, we're gonna go with... Um, how to stay in the independence in a relationship. I feel like we kind of talked about this before. I like that. But, oh, I started the conversation. I was thinking that you, yeah, because like, you had started the last one, so I was thinking that that was how it was going. Um, independence in a relationship, I feel like is important because if you don't have, if, he just watched every little thing I do. Cause he I, don't know, he can't just sit. Like I'm the one with the AD, just I'm the one with the ADHD. This man just has to like fidget. He can't like just sit and talk. He has to like I'm sorry. He, and he doing all <laughs> the <extra noise>. Um <laughs> How to stand in independent. Yeah, me forget what the topic was. Um yeah, standing in your independence is very important because you know you don't wanna you don't wanna be so consumed in your relationship that you start kinda what? But it sounds like a word by word what I've said before. Where? I, I, it's I, documented? I, no, so, off camera, I'll, t- I'll camera I'll tell him this. Um, Keep going. <laughs> you started ruining it. Like, but I feel like sometimes it can be sabotaging to other aspects of your life if you do choose to. Now, I'm not saying like don't be all about your partner or anything like that's not a bad thing at all because i'm very much like that um but you know you just just know when to take time for yourself and still explore and learn yourself because you can't love or learn another person without knowing who you are first yeah um and i think because i agree obviously like i said he he stole my words but that is so middle school. I agree. However, <laughs> so middle school. <laughs> however, um, I think really just knowing who you are in a relationship, and also knowing who you are outside of the relationship. Meaning, obviously, you you are who you are inside your relationship, but like you also gotta take care of yourself. Because I feel like a lot of people pour so much into their relationships that they forget to pour back into themselves. And I think that's very crucial and like just, cause I think like the number one thing that people forget, like when they, when people get in relationships, they kind of depend on their partner for their own happiness and things like that. And I feel like that's kind of not the right way to go about it because you need to be happy on your own. You shouldn't depend on another person to make you happy. Obviously they can do things to like enhance your happiness or like obviously make you sad or mad or whatever. But like at the end of the day, like you need to be able to wake up and be happy with yourself first and then whatever. Because if you don't, then you grow codependency and then that's why you have so many people that like when they get out of relationships, they're just like, 
tore down. You know what I mean? You know, you ever, you've seen people like when they are at a place. <laughs> what? I'm trying looks. to take, take him. But no, like, the, and I'm sure y'all know what I'm saying. The, there are people that like, they get so consumed and so wrapped up in their relationships that they forget who they are. Instead of like making decisions for themselves or mm-hmm. just doing things that they truly want to do for them. It but, becomes. I mean, that's more, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> Go for it. <bro. laughs> I really did not mean to because. Get it off, cause it, baby, it hit you hard. It did only because I feel like it's easier said than done. Like I don't want anybody to think that it's just the easiest thing in the world, cause it's really not. But I would hope that saying this out loud and somebody may hear it and like maybe realize or even take it into consideration in the future, something like that. Cause I will, I would hope for everybody to hear something like that before. Like seriously, getting involved with somebody. Yeah. Still, Although you don't, you never know when or yeah. you're ready for the conversation or whatever. But you just need to take care of yourself. You know, everybody has to experience it at least, you know, at some point. So. How many more times you think you're gonna move out? My shoulder is, is it is sore. Like I don't know. But yeah, moral of that story, like you are you, your relationship is your relationship, and just. Figure out ways to separate the two, but also bridge the two in a healthy respectful, way. Yes. healthy way. I think the key thing is just being respectful on both sides. Because yes. I think we're very big on, um, as y'all know, I'm like I'm very outspoken, so I'm very. This is what Wayne wanted to do, and I think we had to kind of, and we're still learning that piece too. Like you know, what's for the relationship, what's for the self, what's not, what's respectful, what's not. But you know, like. That's what makes sense. So like, but it, it takes time. It's an ever changing thing. I feel like that's one of those things that kind of like go like day to day. But being respectful is key. And with that, I'm moving on to the next part. This is the um, last one. I, I just wanted to see what she. Got. <laughs> I was like, God, no. <laughs> I really like talking to you. I don't um, know. Understanding your partner's love language. Okay, so I like that because I feel like we have different love languages. And I posted something early on Twitter because um, a good friend of mine did something very sweet to me. For me. And I was like, gosh, like that's my love language. So like my love language is I love receiving gifts and Within that, that doesn't mean like I want like Gucci this or you no. Know, like if I told him, if I brought up, cause I'm very like. Who's that? OMG girl. Shut up. I'm out here trying to be mommy out here. BS. You just pop me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but anyways, like I'm very. I say the things that I want out loud, and they can be like. As small as I want iced coffee to as big as I want a Versace robe, like, and just knowing that you heard that and that you like surprised me with that one day, like, that makes my day. Like, that literally like is everything to me, and I feel like it's important in knowing that because he has like the other day I have been saying I have been saying all I think the past month or so I was like I really really want a Stanley Cup. And he gave, he surprised me with one, and I also was like, I'm on some white compression shorts. I'm very specific, I want white compression shorts so that I can put them under my shorts when I'm in a gym and stuff like that. Cause like, you know, five inch shorts are a thing, and, but you know, sometimes you just, they can get short and you, you want something underneath them. It's like compression shorts. So, he surprised me with those things, and those really, really made my day because one, he listened, and two, I just like getting gifts. Now, on the flip side, I feel like, obviously, I mean, he like getting gifts, but I'm one side, like, that's just number one thing. I think, like, he's one of those people that like the physical touch thing, like, just having, like, quality time, being, like, cuddled up, and, like, just, like, no matter what we're doing, as long as, like, we're like this, he's at peace. Even if it's something he don't like, if I make him go somewhere with me, he don't want to do it, but because he's doing it with me or he not like that's quality time. He's big on quality time and spending time with me and like the phys- the whole physical touch aspect, right? 
the, which side <laughs> which side is your uh well if it feels contested yeah i think so yeah and about like, like i mean if it was like i don't then i'm not a service. big gift person now but unless it's like something that's real sentiments or something like that like it has to be it has to have a meaning behind it like i can have gifts all day which i do like opening gifts so i don't want anybody to get the wrong idea of it. but um if it's like sentimental then i'm gonna love it it could it's be like mushy the, it could be like the smallest thing but if it's like if it means something or like you tell me it has a meaning behind it then i'm gonna love it i'm probably gonna keep it forever yeah like that weekend no that's not it this what okay so like when we first started dating i think maybe within the first month I knew he liked the weekend because that was like in his room and stuff. I went online and I found like this. How you know it was in my room? Boy, because I went to your room. But I think, I don't know. But anyway, I bought like this glass. Y'all remember when it, the thing when it was like glass, um, like music players it's like or whatever? like a plexiglass um, and it got the little Spotify code on it with the album cover on it. Yeah. And it sits on the little stand. I bought him that. And I was more so thinking about getting him a gift. It was more so the weekend is one of his favorite artists or or his favorite artists. And I was like, he'll love that and he'll remember that when he looks back at that, like, you know, Wayne thought of me. So stuff like that. I know that's like what gets him. My gifts don't necessarily have to be like sentimental, as long as it's just something I want. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause I'm very like, if I see something I like it, I'm like, I want that like right now, real bad. I have an issue like I always want stuff like in that moment. But with that said, I'ma let him pick his next stop. This is it. This is it. This is the last one. Okay. Boy, <laughs> he been sound on God. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll do one more and then we'll that's it. We'll, we'll hit it with the. Let's hit the nail on the head. Nail on the head. Uh, last one for me is gonna be, I think healing. I like that one. I was looking at up to. Okay. Um, that's very broad though. My shoulder is on ten. I don't Babe, know what. They're I used did. to your moving. They're used to no, this but camera I promise bouncing it, around. It they're, is. It is on ten. Like, can everything. you do something to it? Right Babe, up here. Please. It's right up here. Healing. For for, uh, yes, please. Look, at the time, healing. You talk that monologue. Um, yes, healing. Healing is a very important part of growing up, of growing, you know, emotionally, and all that. Because you, <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? This is real talk. <laughs> it don't feel like it. <laughs> yes, it too. <laughs> no, seriously though, healing for is different for everybody. Like. You can't go to somebody that you think is healed and ask them for advice on how to heal because you, you can't mirror that. Like, I feel like everybody has their own direction of healing. Like, you can heal like this and I heal up and down and, you know, around and sometimes it's like this and sometimes it's back down. But it just kind of depends what? Stable. It's good. Last time they told me it wasn't moving that bad. They don't know if they talked um, about <laughs> Um, but yes, as far as healing goes, it's, that's all I have to say about it. It's not an easy thing. Um, you know, it takes a lot of trial and error. You have to figure out like what your triggers are, how to deal with your emotions and really get to the root of why you feel that way, which yeah. takes a lot of time and lessons to figure that out. So you will go through a lot of hurt and whatnot, but you can't heal unless you get hurt, so. I don't look at hurt all the time as bad things, because when you learn from something like that, then you know not to do that again. I'll sign off with that piece. Um, no, I mean, that was beautifully said. I feel like- Thank you. Healing is a bridge to learning in a sense of we all learn differently we all heal differently <laughs> i feel like uh that was deep i'm very i'm a big fan of i'm a big advocate of like whatever the problem is like really 
indulge in it like indulge in it for like a day or so like you go through all your emotions cry it out do whatever you're gonna do like feel all those emotions don't block those emotions out but like get them in get them out or whatever but like after a day or so <laughs> let it go <laughs> That's what I do. Like I'm very. So you can't say that. I don't. I'm. You just. I am. I. Giving his. Yeah. I'm different. He heals. I'm a little different. Like. Okay, but that's that's not bad. Maybe. Somebody else can resonate with me. Like I don't like to be sad and I don't like to be down. So like, if something upsets me, I'm gonna go ahead. I don't need because you're getting ready to talk. No, I'm not. I'm breathing. Hard. I had to breathe. (laughs) Cause I'm like, let me get me. But. You know, I just, for me, got through the emotions, got through the emotions, feel all the feelings, really like soak in them, try to understand them. And once you come to understand it, let it go. Because at the end of the day, are you are you telling you, them to let it go or are you saying that's what you But I didn't ask no questions when you went on your spiel. Well, but you gotta be clear though. You saying let it go, but y'all know what's up. Like, look, when they that, don't know what's up. When that man hurt you or that girl hurt you, take it, accept it, take a open my arms, take feel all that hate, all that pain, hate. whatever you feel, all that hurt, fill it up, take it in, dissect it, then let it go. No sense in holding on to it. That's my method. Like, feel whatever you're gonna feel and address what you feel. And then eventually let it go. You can't heal if you keep holding on to what's hurting you. That's the truth. That's for anything, anyone. What else you got to say to the people? That's the last topic. And that's the last topic. So with that being said, guys, thank y'all so much. We do have a few topics left, so we're going to do a part two. It's going to be a very, very quick part two. Spam our comments with part two if y'all want the part two to this video. And we're going to give it to you guys because we love y'all so much. But make sure y'all spam, like, subscribe. And follow our social medias, which are in our pages description. Just go to it. <laughs> yeah. And I love you and he loves you. And this is DW Empire. And we are signing all. Episode two. This is, two. This is episode two. Three. Three. Are you sure? This is two. This we'll is do our re- We'll two. do better. This is episode. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Episode two is coming to an end. Love you. Love you guys.